What is going on guys? Welcome hey guys. back to El Nani Vibes. I hope every single one of you guys had enjoyed that first take of Lunar New Year over here in DCA. Yeah. We had to shake things up because of course guys, we're in our element we and are. we had to bring the vibes for sure. The vibes. The food oh, yeah. by far is going to be amazing, mm -hmm. which is the reason why you guys are here. Yeah. Today, we're going to be heading into DCA to try majority, almost all the foods that yeah. DCA has to offer for Lunar New Year. Yeah. We kind of brought our appetite. Well, for me, I kind of ate something at I home. I didn't eat anything. Can so I, I didn't eat appetite. anything. I'm ready for that boba. So guys, grab your snacky snacks so that way we could be able to head on this adventure together. So guys, enough for the talking. Let's grab a drink yeah. so that we can wake up because Kanani needs I need coffee. Some coffee. Yeah. Some Vietnamese coffee. So there's one let's spot go. that we know of. Let's take you guys along. All right, let's go. Ooh, it's kind of bright. Super bright. <laughs> but one thing that I want to say, guys, to let you guys know, if you guys are AP pass holders or if you got your tickets, of course, mobily, there's something that I want to show you guys that this, this, uh, this, 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 something that this, this, what? What? Disney. <laughs> Disney. Something that Disney had came up with for the Disney mobile app. Let's check this out. If you guys open up your Disney mobile app, they do have a little screen for Chinese New Year. Check that out. That's pretty cool because when we came on Sunday yeah. with our good friend Sergio and Sarai, yeah. we opened, well, I opened up the mobile app and then all of a sudden I was just like, wait, how come it doesn't say Disneyland and the castle is up? So that was actually pretty cool of a little kind of like, uh, I guess transition or something like that. I was like really hyped even though it was something small. I think that's pretty cool. I'm getting excited for the button because I want to get the button and see if they have any buttons. Yep. Um, they are also, uh, on Sunday I did see a little fan that you can like color in. Mm -hmm. It's a little, um, little novelty to take home with you. Mm -hmm. So that's really cool. So the first drink um, of the day is gonna be this Vietnamese coffee and I can't wait to try this out to see if it tastes like the Vietnamese coffee back at where we stay at so let's check it out oh okay so it is very strong um, you do taste the very strong like coffee beans in it and um, I really I'm really gonna enjoy this coffee so uh, let's go Now we could be able to get some food. Let's check out the boots. Let's start grubbing. <laughs> All right guys, so we had finally gotten our food. We pretty much got everything at the Longevity Noodle Co. And Lucky 8 Lantern. Now, over at the uh, Noodle Co, they actually ran out of the spicy pork dandan dan noodles. Yeah. So, luckily enough, the cast member had told us that we could be able to come back, enjoy the food that we have so far. Yeah. And pick it up when they actually do have it in, I guess, in stock. I guess or whatever. it's very popular. What do you want to try first, babe? Because this food mm, looks amazing. Let's see this one. And of course, guys, we gotta use chopsticks. Now, if you guys don't know how to use chopsticks, it's totally okay because right behind on the packaging, it does show you exactly how to kind of like hold it. Yeah. But you know, just search it up on YouTube. I'm before sure I never used to, before I never used to know how to use chopsticks, but you know what? You practice and you start eating with them, and then you get better. Yep. yep. And here's kind of like one thing that I like to do with the chopsticks when you break them. Kanadi did the old traditional kind of like breaking it, I and then like you it. know. Mm -hmm. But this is how I like to do it. So what I like to do, guys, is I grab each side and smash it on the table. Ooh. It breaks a lot more easier. Yeah. I mean, not really because one side's bigger than the other. Yeah. I'm gonna let Kanani pick first to see what she wants to try first. These smell so delicious. I smell like some Parmesan on the top and some like type of zesty pepper, like maybe some pepper inside. Ooh, okay, let me try to get a good bite. Okay. So, I feel like they're very sticky and they're a little bit too dry for me to be honest I, if they had some type of teriyaki sauce maybe on top of it it probably would have made it better but the parmesan smells really delicious but out of this i think it's a three out of ten so let's let me try let's asian cuisine guys is something that i absolutely 
absolutely love. So Disney has some pretty big shoes to fill because when it comes to Asian food, guys, he I'm loves a huge, the noodles. huge critic. So when Kanani said that it it's was dry, dry, it's supposed to be dry because it's a, it's, it's kind of like a stir fry noodle. Oh, stir fry. What do you think? It's good. Um, I see what Disney's going for. A lot of guests are gonna be complaining that it is dry, but anyone that's watching, and you guys do get this, it's supposed to be dry, just to let you know. If you guys want to, grab some like soy sauce packets somewhere. Or teriyaki you sauce. Know. I would prefer soy sauce. Teriyaki yeah. sauce, it kind of like overpowers a little bit too much okay, over so the garlic, yeah. but soy sauce would be pretty good with this, but what I would say, I give this a five out of five. Only because for like, Theme park food, you know, this is pretty good. It's a little bit basic. It smells and delicious. And this is something that you guys could be able to make at home. Mm. So the garlic fried noodles, five out of five, three out of five. So together, we'll say four out of five. <sighs> now, I'm going to try the bulgogi. <gasps> bulgogi. I could be able to tell already um, the beef or the bulgogi is okay. Like, so far, it's appetizing so far. The rice seems like a little bit on the overcooked side because it is very, very dry. It does come with green onions, most likely this is scallions on top. Thick, thick, huge piece of beef. Hold on. There we go. <laughs> Just like that. Take a bite, guys. Camera eats first. A little bit of a char, too. Disney. <laughs> Um, I know, I'm pretty sure there's a lot of cast members that ate Korean barbecue. <laughs> we love Korean I'm barbecue. I'm pretty sure you guys have been to Mr. Barbecue in Fullerton Ooh. on State College. Or you guys have done a uh, gin on Harbor mm -hmm. up north. By the way guys, we're plugging because those are the top <laughs> barbecue spots that you guys could be able to grab Korean barbecue oh, for. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But as for this, is it just I want to say sample? this is kind of like, uh, you know, it's chewy. It's very, very um, tender. Mm. The flavors are not overpowering, and this is just with the meat, but with the rice. It's just kind of dry. Is it dry? Or moist? It's uh, overcooked. Ooh, overcooked. Is good. Beef is pretty good, mm -hmm. but maybe it's just like, you know. But this right here, this is really good. What do you give it? I give it a 5 out of 5, ooh. but that's just the beef. Altogether, I'll give it a 3.5. Food with rice, the rice needs to be cooked like perfect. He knows how to cook I'm rice. I'm sorry, Disney, but this right here. He, he should go in the back and then be like, hey, let me go cook the rice for you. Nah, I'm good. You I'm need good. to measure it, baby, with? Your finger. All right, so if you guys don't know, if you guys want perfect rice, put as much rice in a pot as you want. Yeah. The line, the tip of your finger, well, yeah. my, my finger's finger. too fat like my, and long. My... This, the tip of your finger yeah. is going to, um, be on top of the rice, not in the rice, but on top. Yeah. Place this on, like say this is the rice, right? Yeah. You're gonna put this on top. Yeah. You're gonna fill it, the, the water, all the way to that line. That's how you get perfect rice. You might not be able to see because it's not focusing, it's, but. It's the fingertip right here. Yeah. This, this, this. Perfect per measurement. Measurement of the water to the rice. Yep. Basically. All right, guys, I am excited to get into this because since I saw the picture, I've been wanting to try this for the longest time. I'm gonna try to get everything right here. Here we go. Okay. Mm. Oh my gosh. I love how flavorful it is, and what makes it better is that this one has a type of sauce on it already, and some edamame. So. Kanani's eating all the shrimp. Sorry, I. Sorry. Mm. Mm hmm. The rice has some carrots in it. Um, there is some bacon, like I said, on top of it. I, I'm not gonna eat the bacon because I don't eat bacon. This is a 10 out of 10 for me because. What is a plus on there is that it has edamame. And if you guys don't know, I love me some edamame. I have to get it all the time and I eat a bunch of it. And to wash it down, we actually grabbed the peach yujade. Mm -hmm. Oh, yujade. Yujade. So what it is, guys, it's a peach syrup, or it is it has peach syrup in it, yuja, dragon fruit, lemon, and butterfly pea Ooh, butterfly. flower tea. Let's kind of weird. Stir it. Let's stir it. You know what I think that we should have brought? We should have brought our chopsticks up from home and we should have brought our boba straws. Okay, let's try it out. Oh, it's very um, lemony. Um, I do taste some type of some type of rose. 
And I do have, it's a strong on the peach side. Drinking this drink, I feel really pretty. So I'm gonna put my finger out and then. Bedanda noodles are finally here. I'm gonna stay away from this because there's huge, huge pieces of peanut Peanuts. in this. And if you guys want to see me again on the channel, I'm not gonna eat this. The smell's very overpowering, but it feels like they're, the noodles are dry again. Oh man, this is very spicy. You can really taste the peanuts. They're very overpowering in here. There's a lot of peanuts in here. Again, it would be better with some soy sauce. There is some like basil on the top. You do, it does tickle your tongue. Um, would I get this again? Probably not. I just don't like the way it tastes to me. And I feel like it's too hot. I'm still hungry. Kanai is gonna be trying out the hot dog Mickey. The Mickey hot dog. Chinese hot dog bun. Mickey Chinese hot dog bun. All right, let's see. So, oh, I'm already breaking it. This is what it looks like. Um, it looks dry already to me, but I can tell there's no sauce or anything. I think I need some sauce for this, some ketchup. Let's try it out, let's, let's see. Uh, I'm gonna try to get this side. Oh. oh, by the way, shout out to Mystery Bay. I remember us watching her reel on her take of this. I think we're getting the same reaction. The bread is very good. The sausage, eh, it seems a little dry and it tastes like very weirdly. I don't know how to explain it, but it tastes like a hot dog, but it's a little bit more on the flavorful hot dog side. I don't know how to explain this, but the bun, the bun is really good. I don't know. What do you, I feel some, I feel like it's from like, um, I know, um, 85 Bakery. That's what it tastes like. There you go. 85 Bakery, the bun buns, the little buns, that's what it tastes like. Just it's just dry. It's dry, right? It's dry. You need some ketchup or something like mustard. I don't know. Mustard? I'm just going to take the hot dogs. I just want to no! eat the No! All right. Um, I don't know how I feel of this because it literally looks like, all right, there goes ketchup nothing. Or mustard. Something like that. Hmm. <laughs> like it's red hot so it's caliente it's not hot at all what kind of chili is this jalapeno it's really soft um well the the bun part <laughs> but the chashu pork that they have in it along with the uh, i want to say it's red onion scallions i'm pretty sure i'm not 100 sure but it's pretty good thank you babe for not eating it you can give me the veggie one over there thank you this is number, this is top two on my list. I need the... The garlic noodles and this. This is gone. I'm really excited for this one because I've been wanting it so bad um, since last time we were here. Um, this beautiful treat here is the Mickey's purple potato macaroon. It's very beautiful, very puffy, very cute, very Instagrammable. And then I'm going to go ahead and eat this ear because I like eating the ears first, so let's try it out. Mm. Mm. It's very soft, it's not hard. That's what I love about the macaroons. Very um, moist. The middle part is like the raspberry one from, from Disneyland and Jolly Holiday, but there's no raspberries in it, but the top part does taste like it. But the middle part, it does have like a, like a little bit of a ube taste. And if you guys don't know what ube is, it's like taro. You guys have to try out ube yourself. It's like a um, Filipino dessert. Go try it out. You can get it at Seafood City Red Ribbon. Try it out. Yes. How's that? Oh, oh, oh. You have to carry. I have to carry you. <laughs> <laughs> now, I finally get to hold Vex because she only lets me carry her when I have food. <laughs> Ay, oh. Yay. How's that? Yummy? I think so. She wants another bite. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. <laughs> she, huge smile. Her face. So macaroon guys, it's it's a it's a five out of five. It's pretty good. All the kiddos like it. Kanani likes it. I mean, what can I say? I like it too.
what I colored. Super cute. And Aria, what did you color? <laughs> and the baby's got hers. Huh? She's holding it to, for dear life. I'm on baby watch. If you guys remember Bex from the 4th of July video, she's gotten a lot more bigger, guys. She's talking a lot more, but not only that, she's driving Arnold a lot more crazier. <laughs> So I think everyone wants to get boba, so let's go get boba. What we have right here is gonna be the tiger milk tea. Um, I'm pretty sad that they didn't fill it up to the top because I got light eyes. That really has boba in it, and I think it has some caramel. This is very on the sweet side. The milk tea is very flavorful, and it does really taste the boba is really great and soft it's not hard at all and disney totally got this on point 10 out of 10 you guys need to try this tiger milk tea boba and i think this is the one i recommend you guys try it here out of all the food items please try this drink so what we have here is the impossible lion's head meatballs and this is a uh, plant-based uh, meatball. It is not meat. Oh. Okay, this is what I'm talking about. So the sauce right here in the meat is very good. It's like some soy sauce. Um, there are some, some green onions in there. And the meatball is very savory. The sauce, it's not dry at all. It's very moist. Um, I like this. There's some cabbage in there. I, I'm a fan of cabbage. Um, I give this totally a 10 out of 10 just because it's paired well, it's beautiful. It looks like it's enough to eat for like one person and I'm gonna get full, so I'm gonna go ahead and finish this guys, so you guys gotta try it yourself. All right, last but certainly not least is spicy three cup chicken. Everyone has been telling us, if you don't like heat, stay away from it, but this actually does look pretty good. I'm, I don't care with it with heat or anything like that. I forgot, this is the leaf that they put in full. I think this is like mint leaf. I could already taste a little bit of the spiciness because the sauce was on it. Oh, this rice actually looks a lot more better than all the rices that we've actually had throughout the whole entire day. Cheers, you know, already. Camera eats first. Very hot. I know what everyone means about the heat. It's a creeper, just like alcohol drinks. It's really overpowering, let's put it that way. Uh, sometimes I can handle spice, but this, it's, not, it's spicy, but it's not that spicy, if that makes sense. I'm gonna say 3.5. It's, uh, yeah, it's okay. I mean, you know, it's, it's Disney food. Their twist on Chinese food, or Asian culture food, Asian cuisine, and it's not that bad. Throughout the whole entire day, we've had some pretty good foods. We had some pretty good options to choose from. And overall, it's pretty good. Alright guys, so that is Raya. If you guys ever get the chance to, we highly, highly recommend coming at night. It feels a lot more better. We have never came during the day. We love coming at night for some odd reason. I think ending the night 
the Tiria was a perfect idea. All right, guys, so that does it here at GCA for Lunar New Year. We hope that this whole entire video kind of gets an idea and description of what the foods are like when you guys do come to try it out yourselves. Babe, out of the whole entire food review video, what do you think is like, what, what's your take? What's your favorite? Okay, my favorite to end it off is gonna be the Impossible Meatballs. I really love those. I really enjoyed the sauce with it. I don't know what kind of sauce, but I really want it. It's the Lion Head Meatballs. Yes, the macaroon, obviously, that's my favorite. So guys, thank you so much for joining in on this adventure. If you guys are new, go and hit that sub button. We love to see the Ohana grow. And of course, if you guys love the content so far, if you like this video, go and hit the like button. Last but not least, if you guys are returning, go and hit that, hit the bell, hit Turn the post the notifications, notifications on so that we don't miss anything here on Onani Vibes. So guys, see you guys next time. This is Alan. Thanks, Nani. Peace out, guys. See you in another video.